thousand years ago when the glaciers stood tall. Sapiens the wise encountered a Neanderthal. He was the sapient hunter, thought a truly touching sight. The brow deeply furrowed, striking rocks, a feeble fire to light. Yet the troglodyte had trespassed on the early man's terrain, who addressed the poor dog creature in words eloquent and plain. Cousin, I suggest you move your cave and strike your fire elsewhere. There is hardly any room left here for yet another layer. But what is more, I ask this dearest cousin for your sake. With your shapes alike and animals, I might hunt you by mistake. The caveman made no answer, and the hunter in his mind felt pity for his friend by nature left so far. Yet then the creature swiftly cast his kindling rocks aside, and getting to his crooked legs, the Neanderthal replied. Brother dear, I understand. You would expect a brute so dull to retreat in reverence from the sleek shape of your skull, yet I cannot help but think we both could swiftly end this strife by uniting our hunting skills. Together we may thrive. Survival has been trying ever since the climate changed. From our transforming homeland, we grow ever more estranged. Yet far longer than you, young lad, have we lived on these lands. And surely even you could use some more experienced hands. Eccentricities is the means to make us wise. You carve your instruments from bone of wood, our flutes are carved. If we joined our skills, we might produce an even finer craft. For to tell the truth, life in this cave is growing rather bleak. And music, laughter, merriment, and joy is what I seek. So perhaps you'll sit down here with me and help this fire to light. There really is no need to waste our energies in a fight. Sapient hunter looked upon his cousin in despair. His gruntings for a wise man simply were too much to bear. With a sigh he drew his club and struck the caveman dead, lamenting all the nonsense formed in such a misshaped head. The caveman's kindred also, one by one in such a way, to the wise hunter's formidable intelligence. He'll pray. And when the last Neanderthal was dead, his work was done. With the rise of man, the age of reason had begun.